Just like the street lights lit this town Like a fire in a blaze gotta burn it Howdy y'all, it's Marina Ray, and today I'm coming at you with just a short quick video. I asked you guys on Twitter, if you're not following me on Twitter, go follow me. What are you waiting for? If you guys wanted to see just a short flip through of my reading journal, and the majority of you said yes, there were some people who said no. So if you're not one of those, and you didn't want to see my reading journal, then you might want to click off because we're about to see my reading journal. So I'm just going to quickly flip through it, and then yeah gonna be one of the quickest videos probably ever but okay okay guys so real quickly I'm just gonna show you what my reading journal looks like for the month of August um, this is not gonna be like a bullet journal with me video it's just a real quick flip through of what it looked like for the last month so I got this book at Ollie's it was originally meant to be an art book but I turned it into kind of like a bullet journal type of book and it worked out really well for me. Now before I get into this, know that I am not the most artistic person. I am not artistic at all. That is all my husband. He's a cartoonist as you guys know. But I am just not artistic and I'm just not creative in the sense of art. So it will not be like a magical amazing book. It'll just be normal. So opening up we open up to the open page i just drew a little 2018 calendar up there and then just a few like doodles i'm a big doodling type of person and it just says read more books because i wanted something that would inspire me to read more when i opened it up Now the second page is a reading goals page. My reading goal on Goodreads was to read 50. I have since then read 43, so I only have a few more to go. I'm really excited about it. But every book I read, I just quickly bubble it in down there at the bottom. And yeah, I wanted this page to be like space themed. <laughs> Then we open up to my August book haul and this is a list of all the books that I bought in August. Um, all these books you will see in my August haul video. But yeah, and then I just wrote a quote over here that said, reach for stars even if you have to stand on a cactus. That's by Susan Longacre and I love that. Then we have August uploads. So like I said in my earlier video, I am working on a schedule and what I do is I upload Monday and Wednesdays and those are my core content videos and then I upload an occasional tag on Friday. Um, I didn't stick to all the videos I had down. I've just got quotes down at the bottom that says, it doesn't matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. We may encounter many defeats, but we must not be defeated and creativity takes courage. Then I've got my August wrap up and for August wrap up I just did like this floral print on the side and then it says a goal without a plan is just a wish and I love that and this is all of my August wrap up that you guys had seen in my August wrap up video. <laughs> And then this is my stats page. My stats page tells you tells me at the end of the month how many books I've read, how many pages, what format I read them in, and all the genres. And then I also just have work for a cause, not for applause, live life to express, not to impress. Every day may not be good, but there's something good in every day. And I just love positive quotes because they make me feel better. I also have down here how many books I rated five stars, four stars, three stars, you go on and on, how many I DNF'd, and my average star rating. Then I have my August quotes, and these are quotes from the books that I read that really stuck out to me. We mourn the future because it's easier than admitting we're miserable in the present, and that's from Extraordinary Means. I have just a ton in here from Paperweight, from Extraordinary Means, from Undercurrent, just a ton of from all the books that I read in August. <laughs> Then 
I have a special events page and I wanted this to look kind of 80s, hence the neon. Everything that I need to remember that happened in August. I had my Green Ribbon Book Club book that I had to make sure I, re I read. I had our book Tubeathon that I had to remind myself about. TJ's Read of the Stars, To Kill a Mockingbird Readeth Long, which if you guys didn't read along, then you guys missed out because that was a great group chat. Um, I couldn't participate as much as I wanted to, but I was always there reading all the messages and it was just a great time in the booktube community. <laughs> I sound like an old man. It was just a great old time. But no, and then I had my Josh Buddy read, which Josh from Beards and Books, and we're buddy reading a book together, so I definitely didn't want to forget about that. He's gotta burn it down. Can't be afraid to leave this out. We got this far. Okay guys, so today our featured booktuber is Rachel Marie. Rachel Marie is a booktuber who is quickly growing in the community because of the simple fact that she is just so supportive. She is absolutely one of the most supportive people on booktube and I'm so happy to be able to consider her a friend of mine. She really is a good friend and she really is a good person. And if for some reason you guys are on here and you haven't subscribed to her yet, go check her out watch a few of her videos and you will be hooked i promise so yeah go check out rachel marie she's a lovely uh, let's see how do i do an accent like her she's a lovely lady and <laughs> do you guys call people ladies i don't know i, I feel weird calling her a lady she's a lovely person <laughs> so go check her out i'm done okay guys like subscribe bye <laughs>